For the last 20 years, you've been a journalist in Argentina, but now there have been reports that you've decided to leave the country. Why are you going to leave Argentina? Mr. Cox. Mr. Cox, you've worked as a journalist in Argentina for the past 20 years. Why have you decided to leave the country now? I've not decided to leave the country permanently. I hope it will be only temporarily. But I've had a spate of threats recently that have zeroed in on the family, culminating in a, a letter to my 10-year-old son, more or less telling us to get out of the country or something would happen to the family. Do you have any idea who has been making the threats against you and your family? No way of knowing. One has had so many threats over the last terrible ten years in Argentina, which has been a time of the most appalling terrorism from one extreme and then from another. The letter purports to be from the Montaneros, but I, I don't really think it is from them. They're capable of doing what it, it said could happen which would mean the assassination of, of the family. But uh, then other groups too might be capable of the same thing. There's no way of knowing exactly who it is. Why have you been picked as a target of these threats? I think things are getting better in Argentina. And I think that uh, the number of people who can become victims when terrorism is gradually coming under control becomes rather rather fewer and I think people are rather more selective and I think that uh, unlike the, the threats that we've had in the past which have been threats that you've had to take as normal risks uh, it would indicate that to me the things that have happened that quite a lot of intelligence work has been going on and the family is looked upon as being a very useful target with an awful lot of impact um, and that's what really worries me that, it, that, that if something did happen to the family it would be also have a destabilizing effect on Argentina you say the uh, situation has improved in Argentina in uh, recent times. Uh, how do you uh, judge do that? You ju judge that and well, for me, you know, it's been the fact that the disappearances seem to have finally ended. Since the middle of September, there haven't been any more people vanishing. That is. Mr. Cox, you say the human rights situation in Argentina is getting better. How do you reconcile that with the fact that you're leaving the country? I think when things come under control, the, peop the groups that are still operating become more selective in their targets. And I think that really is why there is a danger to the family. I've lived all this time in Argentina thinking that anything might happen to myself, but assuming that nothing would happen to the family. I think that situation might have changed now. As a journalist, I assume you are used to getting threats. Uh, what in the character of the threats you have received recently has convinced you that, that these are serious threats? Very detailed information about the family, very intimate things that obviously indicate that these people have gone to a lot of efforts to find out things about us that wouldn't normally be available. Um, picking on the children in a particularly sadistic way when a thing like that gets into the into the home, we've always tried to keep it out, but of course our children have lived with terrorism all these years. Um, you go back five or six years and one used to go to the schools and patrol rather inanely around the school as if that would somehow stop any attacks on the school. We were probably all a bit hysterical and nervous in those days. We used to worry about the school bus coming late. Um, but this time, you know, there's, there's much more than the usual kind of threats you get. I mean, one has been living with threats all this time a series of events coinciding with a very emotional time in Argentina when there was this outrageous uh, bomb attack on, on the uh, second man in the economy ministry and a number of things since then that indicated that people were closing in. What are your plans for after you leave Argentina? 
well, I hope to spend Christmas on the Yorkshire Moors and just get away from all this tension and so the family can unwind and feel better again. Then I hope to do some research work on what terrorism does to society, to try and find out what kind of responses are effective so that perhaps the situation that's occurred in Argentina where you've had one terrorism answered by another form of terrorism, to my mind, destroying society and polarizing society won't happen again. Since you've announced your decision to leave Argentina, what has been the response locally? Well, it's been a wonderful response. People have even written letters to my children, reassuring them and, and saying they feel very sorry for what's happened, and that's not Argentina. I know it's not Argentina. We all love Argentina. And the family, of course, didn't want to go. The little boy who got the threat is the most Argentine of my children. They were all born in Argentina. He's very much a football fan, but this happened, and it really upset them on top of everything else they've lived through, and he does want to go now. He's even prepared to leave his little friends. Este, ya no tengo más cosas. La prim primera pregunta es, eh, esa pregunta otra vez. Sí. Mr. Cox, you say the human rights situation in Argentina has improved. How do you reconcile that with your decision to leave Argentina at this time? What has